Hey crafters, great to have you with me. Now you know with the 2.5D Next there are some unique challenges uh, to uh, the tile setup. Uh, before when we would make the tiles individually, you could carve channels into them for waterways and that kind of thing. Well, we don't have the luxury with this, uh, the 2.5D Next method, but I have uh, a great way to show you how to make waterways um, that look great, are very uh, modular, and uh, super easy to do. So let's go to the table and I'll show you how I made those waterways. Here's my material. It's a little strange. It's a translucent uh, report cover and you can find these on old reports or actually buy them new at the um, office store. So here I'm going to uh, put some uh, tape on here so I can measure it without writing on it with a pen and I'm doing two inches and I'm going to kind of uh, use that as a guide so I'll just make an irregular cut on that and uh, I'll do the other side and then I'll have a nice strip. Now I really like the translucent nature of this um, these pieces of plastic so I think that's pretty awesome. Now I'm going to take the rest and make another piece so uh, I got I can make a bigger one but I'm going to make a kind of a smallerish pool just an irregular pool and I'll just cut it in an irregular shape and uh, then I can uh, add some detail to that. All right, now here's a strip I've got. I've also rounded the edge, and you'll see why I did that. Okay, see that end? So now I'm going to put some um, water, uh, look like a water uh, rushing down this stream, and uh, I'm going to put some at the end to make it look like the water's plunging, like this is going to be like a rapids type thing, and uh, I'm going to have some water on the end uh, bunched up plunging into this uh, down a bit and here I'll show you what it looks like uh, close up. So you can see that detail on the end and then the, uh, the detail on the uh, water there makes it look like it's running. Okay now I'm going to have a reservoir and I want to add some detail to it and I'm just going to have this uh, I want to make it look like it's lapping a little bit so uh, it's a cistern that has some water coming into it so I want to make it look like it's lapping a bit and did the, essentially the same thing I just did run around the edges with it and uh, let me give you a look at it here so you can kind of see it in the light as I move it, uh, that nice detail. So here's something else I want to do. I've taken a small piece of this, and I've got some stones I got actually got at Ikea, but you could use any kind of stones, really. You can go out in the street and get them. Uh, here I am putting them on with the hot glue, and uh, I'll just keep adding them and uh, get it till I uh, like it. Looks like uh, stones in the, in the water or a stream. And now I'm going to go around the edges with those to make it look like the water's lapping at those rocks. And uh, I really like that. That looks like a, a cool effect. So this will be a nice weight on the stream if I need it. Uh, I think that's a cool idea. So now I'm going to paint this. I'm going to use a light blue. And I'm going to water it down quite a bit. And just go around and uh, fill in the water piece. Now I'm not trying to cover it up. I'm not trying to cover up the translucency of the piece. I just want to give it a little bit of color. And on the top, I'm going to add this uh, sheen. It's um, a pearlescent. And that'll really give it a nice shine without having to do any kind of um, like gloss medium. So there we go. It's still wet, but you can see the effect. And I like how you can see through it. I think that's pretty cool. All right. So uh, now here's a, str here's a stream piece. So we'll use this, the same blue, same technique. Just paint down and then put some... Uh, the pearlescent on. So it gives a really nice uh, water effect I think. I like that. Now here's another one, the, uh, the, the plunging part. So I put a lot of uh, pearlescent on the end there. Make it look like the water is plunging uh, and active at the end there. And uh, So now I've got the rocks uh, that can be weights for the stream if I need it. So I'm going to uh, put some blue on there, same way, very wet. It's okay if I get on the stones because I can just repaint, repaint the stones. And I'll put the uh, pearlescent on there. And uh, there we go. So it looks like us make it look like swirling water around the uh, stones there. So now I've got some of the blue on the stones, so I want to fix that. So I'm going to use my gray and just take a smallish brush and kind of repaint the stones a bit so they're not all blue like the color of the of the water. And I'm going to use a little bit of green for moss. I think that'll be fun. Put some of that on there. 
and uh, detail it up. Now I'll come back and show you what it looks like in a layer. Yeah. Here's the water in one of my 2.5D next caverns, and you can see the water is rushing out of the front of the cave. I have elevations, the water is plunging down. Um, from It's coming from a reservoir, so you can see up here, um, the water is kind of leaking out of the reservoir, but it can be released, so neat detail. And you can see the ends of the water there that overlap. That gives a nice, uh, looks like the water's plunging down. I also have some of the stones in the uh, stream, kind of a nice effect. And uh, right out the door. Let me give you a closer look at the water section and the rocks. There you go, holding them down. Uh, and I can just pull that up. I really like the sheen and the translucency of that. You can see the, uh, the stone through the bottom of the water. I really like that. And you can add stones like that to help hold it down. Hey crafters, I hope you liked the vid. Uh, if you did, give your Scotty a like. Uh, if you like the channel and you like what you're seeing, uh, make sure you subscribe. And uh, be sure to check out the other 2.5D Next uh, videos as this series details the uh, very modular new system that I'm kind of uh, putting out there. So uh, what I would like to say now is go forth and craft 2.5D Next. Oh, hey guys, look a stream. <laughs> it's time to have fun. Splash, splash, splash. Hee, 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 ha, water. <laughs> Uh, Roderick, we're under attack, please. Can we have some help over here? Uh, stupid monsters always interrupt me when I'm having fun!